Hello, this is a part of wireless attacks videos on securitytube.net and this particular video is on rogue access points or unauthorized access points. Rogue access point is any wireless access point which is connected to the Ethernet jack in absence of or without knowledge of the administrator. So all the access points which have been switched on by the administrators are policy compliant. They are configured properly for proper security and proper access control. But if I go ahead and connect one access point in my Ethernet jack without telling the administrator, there is no control of administrator on that Ethernet uh, on that access point and it can or it is possibly not compliant with the proper security and proper administration administration so it is called a rogue access point this picture shows how the rogue access point is a threat to enterprise subnet now this is the enterprise subnet this is one of the VLANs and here one authorized access point is connected to which other clients and PDAs and all other wireless stations are connected and here it's a wired subnet where your other uh, servers and email server and file transfer server and other servers will be residing. Now if some attacker or some malicious user connects an access point to your wired subnet and he just puts the access point connected to the wired subject. Now what exactly is happening? Now due to the very nature of wireless medium, once you connect any access point, it will trans it will start transmitting its signal around. Now if the access point is having high gain and high gain antenna, then even that signal will reach far long. And if the attacker is sitting in, in some parking lot or something, then and if the AP is having proper radio settings then even in the parking lot enough signal will be available and attacker is able to sniff the media not even not even sniff sniff the media attacker can associate his client or his station to the access point and through this client he can easily have access to the enterprise subnet and he can inject some wireless attacks or he can inject something like man in the middle attack or some denial of service attack or he can even read the wired packets depending upon the access control and depending upon the security policies on the ethernet subnet. But the fundamental thing to, to remember here is at attacker is easily getting layer 2 access and through layer 2 access he can extend it to layer 3 access and any layer 3 attacks on the subnet are open. Now this is the way rogue AP attack works. Attacker goes ahead and plants his own AP on enterprise subnet. Now the interesting thing to remember here is many times attacker is not even required to plant his own AP on the enterprise subnet. But there are already some non administrated open access points or not properly security compliant access points lying around in enterprise subnets and believe me these things do happen in airports or hotels or in even in enterprise uh, even in uh, big companies and enterprises uh, why these things happen uh, many times employees bring their own access point to get good coverage in their office area or in some conference rooms etc and due to this it opens a security hole to the enterprise network now attacker can control uh, now if attacker is uh, planting his own AP then he can surely control the security settings, its network setting, its firewall settings and filter setting etc. And he can easily get layer 2 connectivity to the enterprise subnet. And thereafter attacker can simply access the network resources and he can compromise those resources with the help of some metasploit exploits or any other attack which is known or which is worldwide known can be easily launched on this enterprise network and that's real security hole and that's real concern for any enterprise because there is very little control that enterprise authentication or enterprise security mechanisms that have 
or uh, enterprise cannot control the wireless clients which are getting associated to this rogue access points very efficiently you will be having a natural question in your mind that how can i prevent these rogue access points in my environment and i will give a simple suggestion enable 802.1x on your wired switches this will pretty much solve your pro problem now what exactly you are doing by enabling 802.1x on your wired switches you are actually asking every device to authenticate to your enterprise uh, server like a radius server before doing any data transfer so when you actually connect access point only eap ports are open which are just used for higher layer authentication and once this higher layer authentication is passed only then data ports are open and only then data transfer can happen between wireless stations and wireless access points so if attacker inserts his own rogue access point to your enterprise subnet that access point has to do proper higher layer authentication between your radius server and your access points unless this higher layer authentication wired side authentication is not passed the eap other than eap ports will not be open and no data transfer will happen between your wired and uh, sorry your yeah your wired subnet and your wireless clients or his wireless clients to be specific this 802.1x is on wired side apart from your wireless side 802.1x which is four way handshake and wps security etc another question that everyone has is how to detect existence of rogue access point now rogue access point is transmitting beacons in surroundings so if you know the mac addresses of all the access points which are authorized and then the rogue access points are the access points which are other than these authorized access points again it might be a little tricky job to distinguish between neighbors access points and rogue access points so there has to be some correlation between wired and wireless traffic to find out a rogue access point to do a accurate job you might have to deploy a overlay security solution so that you can surely say which is your authorized access point which is external access point and which is rogue access point but to just to prevent rogue access point enabling 802.1x on your wired switches is pretty much good solution that's it for this video on rogue access point thank you keep watching other wireless attack videos on securitytube.net thank you